Hey, bro, check out my new supercharger. It's a Lego brick, you idiot. Skywarp72 with Cruisers Gaming, and wow! Never before have I seen such a negative backlash from the community as there has been over the second expansion to Forza Horizon 4, LEGO Speed Champions. But before we get into that, and the impact it's going to have on the Horizon community, if you could reach over and click that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date on all that is Forza. And if you like today's video, don't forget to click the thumbs up as well. I assure you nothing would help me out more, and I thank you. Love or hate the idea of a LEGO expansion in Horizon 4, it's coming June 13th. And love it or hate it, if you're a diehard Forza player who likes to accumulate Forza points, you're more than likely going to have to play it if there are achievements attached to it. While the expansion does look mildly entertaining, it's still kind of an odd choice for a gaming franchise that's based on cars. The Hot Wheels expansion in Horizon 3 didn't receive much of a better reception back when it came out, though it did make a whole lot more sense considering cars like Twin Mill, Rip Rod, and Bone Shaker are actual cars. It made more sense too that it had been some time since Hot Wheels fans had a dedicated console game, whereas the LEGO games are amongst the most commonly seen releases, usually falling on the heels of uh, some pop culture uh, thing that's going on at the time, doing everything from superheroes like Batman to Lord of the Rings. Yes, LEGO's cultural influence is widespread, but not a whole lot of what they do is car-related. Maybe it's just that that the Horizon fanbase realizes and is so pissed off about. The aesthetic shown from the gameplay makes it look like it was lifted right up out of one of the LEGO movies, which are targeted pretty much for that 4-7 to seven year old age demographic. This has even led to a lot of Forza players on Reddit and the Facebook groups to draw lines to Horizon being Fortnite on wheels. LEGO itself just isn't aimed at little children anymore either. Just like Hot Wheels, there are avid adult collectors and many of their high-end playsets are targeted for an adult demographic. And I have seen some positive posts on Facebook from LEGO brand followers that they're very excited for the Horizon DLC, just as I was for the Hot Wheels. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, I was a huge fan of the Hot Wheels expansion. The inclusion of the real cars with the real Hot Wheels cars with the DLC, and the wild loop-de-loops, the crazy track that sent you back to your childhood. But again... We go back to Hot Wheels being car-based, and LEGO not hardly car-based at all. I seriously think that LEGO should have come out with a Forza-based standalone game instead of just being a Forza DLC. Financially, it would make a whole hell of a lot more sense if you think about the amount of LEGO players that would have probably bought a copy of Forza after playing the LEGO version. That's just good marketing. And who knows, maybe this DLC is a precursor to just that, a LEGO racing game with cars, physics, and branding from Turn 10 and Forza. The majority of players upset about this are the ones who purchased the Ultimate Edition because it included both expansions and now feel cheated. Even more than that is the outrage that everyone has been asking for upgrades to the game, like fixed car sounds, underground lights, window stickers, and Playground responds with the LEGO DLC that literally no one asked for. And the community hasn't held anything back either. Like Reed Tyler, and the LEGO expansion is now the death of the game ripped Forza Horizon 4. Then Calvillo Lewis, um, well I won't even repeat all that. 
Jamie Slurp Richardson wrote, We didn't want Toyota, Lexus, Rolls Royce, or the Festival Speed anyways. We all clearly wanted Lego. And Nia Johnson wrote, Guess this is the only way to get a Super in Forza Horizon 4. Brian Fitzwater says, That expansion looks like straight up garbage. Who the hell wanted that? Jamie Booth says, People should not buy the Ultimate Edition if they're not open to the idea of getting something they may not want. Nathan Thomas says, First Hot Wheels, now Legos, what's next, My Little Pony? And one of the responses was, Quit giving them ideas. And Chris Ruffin writes, I have no words, none at all, just speechless. I've never been so disappointed with a video game franchise ever in my life. And just to balance things out, most of the things I saw online about the expansion so far have been really negative, but there has been some positive posts. Here on Race Boy's post, he didn't have a single person saying anything negative about it. Dustin Tackett said that he's so happy about this, and Henry Potter over at the Forza Racing Network, love you buddy, is, is also excited for the LEGO expansion. So why all of a sudden is it LEGO? Well, maybe it's because LEGO just came out with their LEGO Speed Champions 2019 line, and these are more than likely the cars you're going to be able to see in the game as the, the DLC cars that come with the pack. Uh, that being the 2018 Dodge Charger, uh, the 70 Dodge Charger RT, the 67 Mini Cooper S Rally, the 2015 Mini John Cooper Works Buggy, the Ferrari F40, Chevy Camaro Z01 race car, and the McLaren Senna, which was prominently shown in the trailer. As I predicted, at E3 this year, they announced the next-gen Xbox would be released around the holiday shopping season Oh, did you hear that? That was real. For the next year. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. That puts Forza Motorsport 8 more than a year away. With no news on Forza Horizon 5 releasing on either the Xbox One or it being saved to release on the new console after Motorsport 8. Playground better hope that this DLC goes over well, because if it doesn't, the bad taste of LEGO could be sitting on players' palettes for a long, long time to come, possibly hurting future sales. That also leads to the possibility of yet another expansion for FH4, as Playground wants to keep Horizon fresh in players' minds. Only time will tell at this point, but... In the meantime, well, we have Legos to... Brace. Alright guys, now's your chance. Tell me what you think of the Horizon LEGO expansion. You can do so in the comments below. Or join in on the discussion already going on over on the Cruisers Gaming Facebook group or in the Cruisers Discord. I'll leave links for both in the description below. Do you want an official Cruisers sticker? They are now available through the Cruisers Patreon. The link will be in the description below for the Patreon as well. This week's subscriber shout-out goes out to Muttley over on the Cruisers Discord. Apparently, <laughs> Muttley signed up for the Turn 10 survey panel, and part of one of the surveys was, please list any vehicle types you feel are missing from Forza, and Muttley graciously put in the Chevrolet Beretta GTU. My man! I appreciate the support and the Beretta love, my friend. Good looking out. Thank you so much, Muttley. And I thank the rest of you for watching as well. I'll be streaming the LEGO expansion on June 13th at the time of its release on Thursday, so make sure to catch that on the Cruiser's Twitch channel, my friends. And remember, those friends, they're the family you get to choose. I'll see you next time, fellow Cruisers.